Prepare to set your Geekazoid scientific G-spots to nerdgasm. Because what you're looking at there is a metallic gas. Yes, that colored gas there is metal. So sodium gas is sort of bluey and potassium gas is sort of greeny. And so this is sodium potassium alloy reacting with water under an argon atmosphere. So that generates lots of heat, which actually generates a vapor pressure of the metal. But of course, there's no oxygen there for the metal to burn in. So you can actually see the sodium and the potassium gas in this reaction. So yay, that's pretty. But on a slightly more disturbing note, enjoy it while you can, because there's a storm coming. And as with previous storms and battles I fought and previously weathered, survival in this case is far from a sure thing. Yep, just like previously, religious sorts have tried to shut down criticism by calling it hate or harassment. I mean, I think it's typical of uh, Islamic schools and uh, the political Islamic movement to label any, any criticism a sort of prejudice and thereby racism, thereby trying to uh, make people uh, silence on, uh, silent on criticizing it. It seems like feminism cannot win on a level, an open playing field of free speech. And so they're looking to shut down real criticism by calling it harassment. And yeah, that's them now talking to Google about how to do it. But for the moment, the sun's still shining and providing an excellent light source for the high-speed cameras. And yeah, there is a lot of blue and green metallic gas there. But more impressive still is what happens when this stuff explodes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a shot glass and there's a needle taped to it and on that needle is some potassium. So it's essentially some potassium tied to the bottom of a shot glass and that's going to be dropped down that tube in the middle there and then when it hits the water it's going to explode. Okay. Yes. I will scare you. Okay. I don't want to drop my phone. Yeah. Really, really good. <laughs> and this is what it looks like on these new Sony RX10 4 cameras. And I've got to tell you, I'm going to get at least one more of these cameras because they really are excellent for this sort of thing. Sadly, these cameras only go up to a thousand frames per second, which is not enough to get into the Coulombic explosion regime, but it's still fairly impressive. As for what happens when a single drop of sodium potassium alloy hits water, well, that would look like this. Actually, I'll come clean with you. This is a sort of prelude to a new scientific discovery. Well, as sort of demonstration, one which will no doubt be shown in every high school across the world for generations to come. And that's going to be the next Patreon supported video, for which I'm afraid you're going to have to wait for a few extra days. But the footage is like this. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm just going to leave you with a, a few more clips of sodium and potassium reacting with water. Mm -hmm. 